Were they going to be able to come up with anything new? Is there going to be any kind of new energy? I think that's kind of the beauty of Pickathon. Definitely a stress thinking about how much time went into it and how little time we have left. This particular design build project. It was founded by myself and Clive Knights at the School of Architecture. We created this concept called diversion design build where we would borrow materials and then give them back. It's not a permanent thing, it is temporary. You can be really crazy and outlandish and do something that maybe shouldn't stay all the time. We're in the forest and we don't want to harm the environment. We're creating kind of a tunnel system with the arches that, that carry around our stage area. Having almost a hug-like feel, we have an arm that goes up one side and we have a longer arm that goes around the other. It's almost like bringing people into the stage. There's always a lot to do. I was surprised at how smooth one thing can be and how just disastrous another thing could be. Some of the arches went up great and then the next one would just be a disaster and we'd have to pull it down and remeasure and reset. And just be a workhorse, just lugging things around, screwing things in. It has its struggles, but it's really nice to be a part of a group and be a larger think tank of ideas that get mashed into a, one big idea. They are all coming together and working hard together and getting frustrated together, but also getting to kind of celebrate together. It's been a really fun challenge to overcome and I think we've done a pretty good job. I mean, look at the things that we've done. Something that we all have put our blood and sweat in. We're excited to just see the final side of it and walk away.